Happy Monday, everybody. I hope I hope everybody had a good weekend. I have I hope everybody enjoyed them help over this weekend. Um so y'all I, I I didn't really wake up. I'm not gonna say I wake up, I woke up uh frustrated. Cause I wasn't frustrated when I woke up. You know, matter of fact, I kind of slept a little bit longer. That's why I'm on here so late. I woke up okay in in sort of a great mood. You know, I, I wouldn't say I was in a practically good mood as I am in every day. But of course, it's always one of those days that you in a good mood in one of those days that you're not. So to make a long story short, I was okay, you know, I was okay, and I was in pretty a good mood, but I had got a call from the uh, agency that I got my therapy from, and the, the therapy that I had, he was coming out every week. Uh, he said that he would like to be discharged because he feel like that that's all that he could do for me. But just when the supervisor came out, I feel like that that wasn't all that he could do for me. That was all that he wanted to do. I feel like that he could have done more for me. You understand what I'm saying? But I was also feeling like if you didn't do things his way, it was the highway. And I also felt like that he didn't really want to do his job, which that I didn't, I wasn't the only one that was feeling this way. You know, my family feel that way, you know what I'm saying? But I was just trying to hold on to him because I just wanted therapy and I felt myself moving in a good progress state. So I just was really just thinking, why not just keep who I am? Okay, y'all, I'm back. I've been hurting all this morning. So I feel like that I, I've been in, I was really feeling in, you know, feeling in a good state, you know. I feel like I was making a step forward, but he did say that I made progress when it came to my leg. But I guess he's talking about the hen is where the problem is. At. But I just felt like he wasn't trying to help me enough, you know? And so it, it, it started to, it, it got frustrated for me. I stopped calling my mama. I didn't, I didn't cry, you know, even though right now, as I'm sitting here talking to y'all, I do want to cry because it just seemed like as I made one step forward, I made one step back. That's what it feel like. I feel like I was so hyped that I was going to be able to one day use my wheelchair and get out of bed by myself or walk. But now I'm feeling like, y'all, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I guess this is one of the reasons why I've been going to therapy. You know, because it could be some setbacks. It's not going to always be what I wanted it to be. But I was happy when he came in here, like on Wednesdays and Thursdays. I was happy to see him. You know, he when he picked up my leg and stuff, it hurt. But he was sitting there saying something about my leg don't go, won't go black. You know. So... Yeah, I was just like, I was just angry. I was just, at that time in the moment when everything that the supervisor came out here and said, I was just angry. So I had to wait to get online before I talked to y'all because I didn't want to seem so right out because, you know, where there is knowledge, there's growth. You know, and I think over the past couple of months, I have grown a lot. 
Um, I was talking to my mom about some things, and I was just telling her that I don't have the need to argue anymore. I don't have the need to do none of that. You know, I just want to be at peace. That's all I want. I just want people to understand, respect my peace, and respect my space. I say I even be telling y'all this on, on on this on this platform and on this page because people don't seem to want to respect you. And today I was just like, yeah, I was I was blown and I was wow. I didn't I didn't expect that this was coming towards me, but it was an annual uh, check up on me in an interview, you know because uh what was going on i didn't know what i mean i didn't know what to do he basically had talked to the supervisor and told him to discharge him so i just basically just signed the paper for him to be discharged i no longer wanted to work for somebody that don't have no faith in me that don't can't work with me to help get me where i need to be or, or get me leads where I halfway need to be. You understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I was, I was just surprised that it, it came out to be this way. I was surprised that he said those things, you know, but I guess as people, we have to learn, you know, Nah, what is our way? And the sad thing is about every caregiver I have or every therapist I have, I treat them with kindness. I treat them with niceness. I don't try to be mean to them. You know what I'm saying? I hold back what I really want to say because I, I don't want to lose them as a caregiver or I don't want to lose them as a therapist but this time I, I just couldn't hold back I, I i had my sister talk to the supervisor and tell her tell tell him how she felt about the situation i also had my roommate talk about it because i feel like that that was something that needed to be said you know it was like he didn't want to do his own work he wanted somebody else to work for him and it was like when people was telling him, now this is not the way uh, we want it done, he would get angry. So, yeah. So, how people, people come in. But I guess that's how people is. Hold on, y'all. Marcus! Okay, y'all, I'm back. So yeah, uh, I, I the good thing is about this, I just pray to God and, and, and ask God to just help me through my journey and help me find the therapists that I need that can be more patient with me, that could help me through the process that I'm trying to get to. Because I think that, you know what I think, I think Deep down in my mind, I wanted to, I, I, I want to think that things gonna go back to be as normal as they were when before I first got hurt. But I think that I'm not accepting that who I really am now. You understand what I'm saying, y'all? Sometimes you have to accept who you are now in this in this body, not who you were. So I think that's what's going on in my life today but other than that the good thing is it's glad to know that i'm not depressed i want y'all to know that uh and i do talk to my therapy i talk to my therapy uh every chance i get to let them know how i'm feeling you know because i have no plan on hurting myself I, it just did it, it it was uh it was just a setback for me that's all you know, it, the setback was that they, 
the therapist didn't, the therapist did not want to do his job and that he didn't want to do what he had to do to help me. That's what I feel like it was. But I understand. I just found out something, y'all. I just found out that this month is Breast Cancer Month. So what I wanted to do was say to all the women out there that's been in remission, may my heart go out with you and may God bless you. I even want to uh, say to the families that lots of people doing breast cancer, my heart goes out. And that's all I want to say. I love y'all.